This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. We've got lunch break coming up next. Hey, Nancy. break and we're cooking we're we've got beef we've got well we've got jamie he's got a brand new book it's called weber's time to grill it's just released it's already number one on amazon this is james Beard nominee and grill master jamie proviance congratulations thank on all you. that success and, and thank you for book. having me back well it's great to be here well the new book you told me kind of breaks things down so people like me can <laughs> get to the grill it does this book is all about options it really depends upon the kind of day you have. What okay. I did is I developed the recipes in pairs. Okay. And each pair has an easy option or an adventurous option. All right. So, so for instance, here are some uh, ingredients that I'm using in two different ways. Shallots, blue cheese, tomatoes, steak. Only five things. Five things. And okay. you can make a very simple recipe like this one over here with a blue cheese and tomato salad on top. Okay. Or you can make a slightly more adventurous one like I'm going to show you right now. Okay. okay. How Same can you be adventurous Well. Then? It's really not difficult. It just takes a little bit more time in this case. So okay. you're going to marinate the steak. Um, give it. We're going to marinate it in some beef broth, some red wine, and this is what's actually representing the tomato. This is tomato paste, ah. which works much faster than tomato raw tomatoes. So you know, even with the adventurous recipe, I'm trying to save people time. Okay. Um, and when you say marinate, are we throwing it in a baggie? All these items. You can or? put it in a baggie. You can put it in a pan. Whatever works to get the liquid around it. But okay. speaking of liquid, once it comes right. out of the marinade, you really want to pat it dry. This is a very important technique for grilling steak because a wet steak steams on the grill before it really, really? grills. That's yeah. a great tip. All that I've never liquid that. has to burn off before okay. you really get the char. You see the nice charring and the browning yes. on that steak? That's what you want. You've got a wet steak. That's not going to happen as much. Ideal marinade time? About two to four hours okay. is enough to get those flavors really inside the steak. All right. And then while the steak is, is grilling or maybe while it's resting afterwards you want to get your sauce going and this is where the blue cheese All comes right. into the picture so this has just been simmering um, very gently over low heat and it's made with some butter and some sour cream some blue cheese and there's the shallots again okay okay so that's the. Uh, you threw it in all at once threw it in all at once and well actually I sweated the shallots and a little bit of butter for a couple okay. of minutes just to make them tender and then you want to just keep stirring it uh, until the blue cheese really melts down you don't want to okay. boil this sauce otherwise it'll break so just right. a very very gentle simmer and then when you're done you have something like this you know you just spoon it over that grilled steak put a little bit of chopped chive on there and you've got a very, very stylish pretty. you know adventurous dish <laughs> now on the grill itself when you, after you've thrown that on is the tip not to touch it and keep flipping that's it that's a very good tip and also <laughs> i should put the lid down okay you want to keep the lid down so you keep that grate really hot to sear the food and right. you trap all that good smoke you know the, the fat and the juices drip down in there and they turn into this wonderful aromatic smoke you want to trap that in there okay so that's another good tip and you've got the great char marks too what's the secret to the char marking are you flipping four times then or are you leaving it long enough to leave that mark flipping it just once but rotating it once as well on each side okay you see how this is now I call this at two o'clock if you imagine a clock on this grill and this is facing at two o'clock if I turn it this way it's at ten o'clock right and that's how you get those killer cross but will you marks. should you have flipped to the opposite side first it doesn't matter. Doesn't it matter. Doesn't okay. matter. I don't know. I'm like amateur. <laughs> you know what? Come out this weekend to Chill and Grill in Lincoln Park, Great and I'm going to be sharing a lot more tips All with right. people. Yeah, leading us right yeah. into this, the Better Home and Gardens which Weber Chill and Grill event. It takes place this Saturday and Sunday in Lincoln Park. The admission is free. Classes and food and drink cards they require purchase. But head out and see Jamie because he's the professional. You give me a <laughs> professional hands. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Nancy. And for more information on today's recipe, you can log on and watch the segment again. Share it with your friends at WGNTV.com slash midday. Thank you. Here's the beef. Yo, here's the beef. <laughs> oh, let's eat. <laughs>